Robotic arm settings, first of all. The fixed position of the material printing has been known. The following to determine a loading position. Loading position to ensure that the robot hands. When the material level parallel. Can be loaded to the location of the need to print. How to operate. Just suck the material on the table by vacuum. Don't move it now. Open the robot settings. Click on the release position. And move the loading robot to the release position. After you get to this step, you can see if the robot is directly above the material position, if the position is said to be incorrect, to the left or to the right. You can change the specific position by manual adjustment. Then I'll demonstrate the operation. When the distance is not enough, click the right button. The robot moves to the right. When you click the left button, the robot will move to the left. When the point to the suitable position in the material directly above the time. Then click to set the release position. After setting the release position, you can try it manually. Press back, turn on the suction wind, or the same robot. Turn on the feeding cylinder switch and the feeding suction cup switch. You can test it to see if the material can be sucked up. After this step, you can set the feeding position, that is, the position of the feeding table. How to set it? This step is relatively simple. Use the feeding suction cup to suck the material. Then lift the feeding material suction cup to move the material back to the feeding position. This step is to ensure that the mark point in the feeding position and the printing position are panned over so that each feeding is in a fixed position to avoid deviations. After you get here, let go of the suction cup and let the material fall freely to the ground. Now it is the desired feeding position. When you get here, you must pay attention to it. After the material falls freely to the ground, there are switches on all four sides of the material. After the material is put into the fixed position, go to adjust the switch of the blocking distance to fix the material in this position. There are switches on the left, right and top to move so that the edge of the material is just on the four sides of the blocking pillar. The backstopper is adjusted by the front screw. The screw is adjusted to move forward or backward, so that it is just close to the edge of the material. And the feeding position is basically adjusted. After adjusting the feeding position, set the coordinates of the feeding position. After setting the feeding position, similarly, set the position of the lower material, manually operate. Suck up the material with suction cups. Then send the material to the printing position. That is, the material release position, put the material down. The material is sent to the top of the printing position. The mark point is within the range of the camera.